I'm just curious. Is anybody else paying attention to this? Diesel fuel is the lifeblood of commercial uh, transportation. Uh, not to mention military, any of the other things, shipping. All of these things run on diesel fuel. Check this out. Well, first off, diesel fuel is already at a record high, um, up 63% already from last year. And uh, But now the shortages are starting to come across. And the shortage is coming, starting out with the northeast and then going down from the northeast across the east coast and, of course, spreading west from there. Not to mention the whole market is skyrocketing, being at record high, that it's going to cause diesel fuel prices to go everywhere high, even if they don't have the shortages at the pump. Um, part of this comes from the fact that Ukraine is sucking up so much diesel as Joe Biden tapped into our strategic reserves and sends it to Ukraine. It's already causing a shortage in the first place. If you didn't know, military equipment uses diesel gasoline, period. And that's all there is to it. And by sending a lot of it over there, already caused, caused a shortage. But the shortage is not from necessarily a supply problem. And that's actually what's fascinating about this whole thing. The, the supply is there. But it's the refining that's the problem. Okay, we've seen nothing but fires and uh, destruction as far as the food supply goes across the country. Well, guess what? Here we go. On the East Coast, and granted it was a couple years ago, um, there was a refinery fire. It was East Coast's largest refinery caught on fire, burned down, and completely stopped production. Philadelphia Energy Solutions. And because of this, it took, it, it took our refining capacity from 1.6 million barrels to only 800,000 barrels. It cut it in half. And now we're finally seeing the tail end of this catastrophe hitting the United States, combined with sending our diesel to the war in Ukraine. Normally in America, we're seeing about a 6 million barrel deficit. Of course, that's where we see normal uh, fuel prices for diesel. We're at a 31 million barrel deficit, from 6 million to 31 million. But because of this shortage, because of the supply, pro supply problems, because of the refinery problems, we're about to see the prices skyrocket even more. 